In this video, we'll show you how to create and manage roles. Roles allow you to set or even enforce settings for different departments or positions within your organization. This is where you will configure users' default mix-max settings, like unsubscribe, exclusions, and tracking. We commonly see admins create a role just for managers and roles for different teams like SDRs and CSMs. Roles are different from groups as groups allow you to quickly share content, track performance, and view metrics for different teams. Roles are focused on the general settings and permissions for individual users. Let's create a new role. First, select the Roles tab in your admin settings. In this example, let's say that we're creating a role for your SDR team. Next, hit the New Role button on the left-hand side of the screen and make sure to give this role a name. Just something that's going to make it simple in the future when you go to add new users. In this case, let's just call it SDR team. You'll be prompted to configure your Mixmax settings first. I'll walk you through each setting here and provide guidance for a typical SDR role. In this top box, you'll notice that you have two options. You can either let individuals in this role manage their own Mixmax settings, or you can apply the settings below to all members within this role. For someone who's an individual contributor, I highly recommend leaving this as is so that every member has the same configuration and is syncing data to Mixmax in the exact same way. If you scroll down to Mixmax settings, the first thing you'll see is automatically send activities to the live feed, outbox, and report sections. I recommend turning this setting on as it ensures that any client activity will automatically be sent to Mixmax reporting. The next option down is grant edit access to all shareable assets in your workspace. This is a setting I usually only recommend for managers and admins, as this would give people in this role the ability to not only see but also edit any content like templates and sequences, even if it hasn't been explicitly shared with them. Below that, you'll see enable group members to view email content. This is also one that we rarely recommend turning on as it will allow users to see all of the email content, not just the subject within Mixmax reporting. Don't allow creating and copying sequences. This is something that we do actually see a lot for SDR teams as it prevents them from creating and editing sequences that haven't been approved by marketing or manager. For groups like AEs, AMs, CSMs, managers, anything like that, we typically recommend turning this off. You can also enable don't allow workspace members to send tracked attachments. We often see this turned on for SDR teams or those folks who are worried about GDPR, as having a tracked attachment actually makes emails a little bit harder to deliver. And finally, you have the option to sync all emails to Mixmax reports and live feed whether or not they're sent with Mixmax. I usually recommend turning this setting on as it means that even if someone is sending emails from their work email and it's not through Mixmax, so maybe they're on their phone, that activity will still show within Mixmax reporting sections. If you keep scrolling down, the first thing you're going to see are shared emails. You may or may not have noticed, but with Mixmax, there's a share icon at the top of each thread. This will generate a link where you can quickly share this email with your coworkers. I don't really recommend deviating from these settings so that if that link is generated, only people from your domain will actually be able to edit it. And finally, we have this expire thing here, which just says, if you do generate a link like that, how long do you want it to be around? Since this is going to be internal only, I usually recommend just leaving it at never. Next, we have shared files. So if your team has something, some sort of file or document that's too big and Gmail will automatically convert it into a Google Drive link, this is just saying, hey, who's gonna have access to that? That's why the default is anyone with the link because typically we're sending attachments to our clients. You'll also notice that you can add an expiration date here. Completely up to you. I see this about 50-50 where some folks never want it to expire or they want to have some sort of expiration date on certain content. And down here we have our last section, which is the Mixmax dialer. If you want to allow for call recording, you can enable this right here. And if you want call recording to be on by default, make sure to enable this last checkbox as well. 